Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 12th annual Men in Heels race presented by Alpine Bank. I'm Logan Wilbur. Oh boy, and I am Mike Kretz. We are excited to present the Men in Heels race where otherwise intelligent men yeah. strap on heels and run an all out relay race and of course for a good cause. Yeah, that's right, Mike. Now this race, it raises both awareness and money for Hilltop's Latimer House, which provides vital services for anyone affected by domestic violence or sexual assault. Yeah, and for the second year in a row, Men in Heels race is going to be held at the Grand Junction Regional Airport with 18 teams of five men each. Yeah, that's 90 men stepping up to raise money for the Latimer House. Uh, the weather, well, it was definitely an issue for this year's race with the rain out there, but uh, you know, we're getting breaks in as runners take to the course. Yeah, this race will be run relay style. We have nine heats with the teams with the three fastest times advancing to the final as they battle it out for that highly, highly coveted Golden High Heel Trophy. All right, well, who are those final three teams be? Let's find out right now and get to that first heat. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, the first match we have Ronan Real Estate versus St. Matthew's Episcopal Church. This is going to be a good one. Honestly, anything that helps the community, helps people in, in, in a bad situation, we want to help them out as much as we possibly can. Latimer House is a fantastic organization. They've done a ton of good for the community. I think it dovetails nicely with what we try to do in the Episcopal Church. Uh, support our community, support those who are on the margins and on the fringes, especially those that are in need. How about St. Matthew's in the, uh, well, it's not a skirt, that's a kilt for sure. Kilt, kilt for sure, we got kilt and we got lumberjack flannel, two very tough things to beat if you think about some of those old warriors from, from Scotland there, you got the lumberjacks, it's the gonna be tough to beat. The first runners come in and it is a close race, but uh, uh, Ronan, just kind of running Ronan away with is, it. Ronan is running that. away with it, you're exactly right there, Mike, we're about a full body length, two body lengths ahead at this point, not body length, uh, stretches so, yeah, of the, no, stretches, stretches yeah. of, the, of the Grand Junction Regional Airport runway there. Ronan looking real good, they, Oh, high knees, sir. Keep that up. Good work there. And look, watch, but watch high the knees until gravity. until the turn. That's what I was going to say. Until the turn, you see that low center of gravity. <laughs> they're keeping themselves. They're they're playing safe. Look at those long But safety too. is paying Come on off. Now. Come on now. Maybe maybe they some are. of these can catch up here. One one last uh, race to go. Racer to go. It's going to be it's going to be a tough stretch here. But he's got some good moves. <laughs> I do see some platforms from a previous run that I did here. The platforms do not help you. They Ooh. actually slow you down a little bit. Watch your ankles around that turn. That's going to do it for the first heat. Now let's take a look at the final results. Hey, a post one minute right sub off one, the bat. Sub let's one, sub one to start. Tonight. Ronan really, really making it work. All right, let's get to heat number two. How about Farabee Letman Group taking on Grand Junction Regional Airport? There's a lot of uh, people who, who don't speak out and having somewhere for them to go is incredibly important so they know they have someone to reach out to. We're here to have fun and support. If we win, then great. I, I think we, we're trying to be the underdogs in the whole thing. So we're setting our, we're aiming low. I was wondering what the airport was going to be wearing, but how about those hats? They did not disappoint with the pinwheels. Uh, the choppers, unfortunately, aren't giving them any advantage right now. They don't <laughs> seem to uh, be spinning as fast as the wheels of the Fairby Letman group. Yeah, off to a, a big early start, but here you go. This is where you see... Picking up momentum with the wings. <laughs> or, yeah, it's almost like the Red Bull commercials. Right? Yeah, yeah, Give you wings, got to do it. Give you wings, as we see, because certainly the, you know, the stilettos aren't doing that. The stilettos not, are not, not doing cool much. Things. The platforms are slowing up the airport it looks like, but I'll tell you what, that Fairby Letman group looks like they're almost two yeah, full lengths ahead those, right now. Look at that, oh, as if off of a catwalk, just get around that turn, and uh, again, it's just the jet move. You gotta put the wings out, man, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. It, it, it only only is right at the <laughs> airport to, to use the wings to get you a little bit more of an advantage. They got a lot of room to make up right now, though. They, they, they really do, and, and well, here you see. Uh, it, it's 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 just a one man. Race yeah, one, on only one clock is still there rolling right now, unfortunately. But it looks like they're still having a good time, yeah. taking it slow, but enjoying themselves. When you're the host, you gotta show off the most, right? Casual, casual. You get to enjoy <laughs> yourself while you're at home. That's what they're doing there with the airport. Look at these results, Mike. Ooh, fifty-four point five one. We now have a new leader. Uh, you know, two races in, we're starting to see a five second drop off in time already, right there. You, you can see teams are probably watching what others are doing, really paying attention to get a little bit of a strategy there going around those turns, I'm Ab sure. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. FCI Constructors taking on a Coldwell Banker. All 
honestly, I just love getting dressed up and wearing heels. I get to pull them out of my closet and actually wear them for once, so it's a good, it's a good deal. It's just fun. It's just fun running in heels. It's it's an interesting, it, it, you know, bunch of dudes in six inch stiletto heels running as fast as they can. What's not exciting about that? Cornwell Banker, it kind of rocking the blue. I like that. The blue look, the blue hair. You can't go wrong there. Oh, Real man. tight race right now. But, ooh, Mike right there. Woo, it's gonna look be at that speed off the jump. FCI has a lot of real estate to make up right now <laughs> after that uh, little little fumble at the line. Colwell looking cold as ice. Look at how fast they are going down that first main stretch. Get around that turn. Now just long strides all the way through, baby. It, it, it looks like it's getting a little bit closer, but that may be too big of a lead to, uh, to try to make up for. I, I love the teamwork here of Colwell. Well, too. Watch them catch their runner. They're coming in full stride and just boop, you're done. On to the next, and boy, they are just rocketing right off of the line. Oh, you really are right about that. They are there for their teams. So they can go full speed right through the line. No slowing up there. Wow. Ooh, that pays off, Mike. That is easily going to be our fastest yeah, race. Yeah, Possibly sure the two fastest teams we're about to see. There it is. There it is. Wow. 51 seconds and 50 seconds. The two Ooh. fastest teams, but it almost looked even worse than that because of just that big lead that, that we saw at a Coldwell Banker. You're right. You're right about about that. All right, up next, yeah, Academy Mortgage taking on Town Square Media. Um, I think I'm most excited just to be a part of the team and see everybody come out for such a good cause and watch a bunch of men run around in heels. <laughs> this is, I think, our fourth or fifth year to support Latimer House. And uh, again, we're just here to stand with them and support the work that they're doing here in Grand Junction. Town Square, well, they're rocking the zombie look on the... Moving like it right now, too, Mike. A little bit of a zombie uh, <laughs> cadence there in, in the gate. Not, not as fast as you want to be, especially after the last two teams we saw. But here you go. What we've been talking about all day, that slowing down at the turn, really making sure that, that they get a good pivot there. Love it. Love to see it. Yeah, Academy Mortgage doing well off the jump. Uh, yeah, just bringing it through. As you say, slow it down. Oh, there you go. Teamwork makes the dream work as we see uh, Town Square Media come. I mean, kind of, uh, well, a little bit of, a, of, of an off race right now. Definitely an off race right now. This is one-sided, but, you know, it's not one-sided because every single time that one of these guys is on there, Hilltop wins, Mike. Absolutely, absolutely. As we see Town Square Media just coming. Oh, goodness gracious, be careful out there. Oh, oh. Get right on the turn. That's a tough oh, turn. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, take your time now. It, th this race is over. As we see, wow, what was it? Academy Mortgage with the cape. How about the cape on the anchor? You uh, love anchor that. Leg? You love that. You good. It's always good to see. He's moving a little slow. We're, 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 we're feeling good about this right oh now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Goes down as he comes through the line. I think we have to hand that purse off. We got one last One to go. last. Here we go. All right, Ooh, we're moving. That's a good speed. pace right there. Love to speed. see that. Love to see that everyone's still having a good time, still trying here towards the end. Coming that's what in, it's all about. Coming in fast. Oh, goodness Ooh. gracious. Tough spill right there, Mike. Tough spill. You can see that. That, that one definitely didn't feel good. Uh, Here's the results. 58.9 for Academy Mortgage. Town Square rocking a, well, almost 130. Yeah, good to see. Uh, good to see those racers out there having a good time there. That was really a tough spill that we saw. Thank goodness Care Flight was nearby. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we come from high school football and we've sometimes seen, had to see the ambulance come out and, uh, you know, just hope everybody is okay with that one for sure. Yeah, you, you really, really got to take time to appreciate everyone there looking out for each other, looking out for the community. Uh, obviously, all of our major sponsors are doing that there and, and thank goodness Care Flight's one of them to be there to take care of one of those racers. Absolutely. Hey, speaking of Care Flight of the Rockies, they're up next. So you can tell which one they are with the helmets. Taking on D51 Support Grand Junction High School. Uh, we all work in the medical field, in the ER, uh, Care Flight, and we unfortunately see this happen to people, and uh, anything we can do to help support people that have been affected by it, we. We'll do anything we can for that. Today I'm representing the team from District 51 and we're here to also uh, support uh, the Grand Junction High School Bond.
Well, they are taking D51 to school right now, Mike. <laughs> yes, that is sure. what we are seeing. Off it is a, a big job. lead. Uh, go. Good handoff of the bag. That's one yeah. of the things that we're not really uh, seeing a lot of with some of the camera angles. Those handoffs of the, of the purses really got to be smooth. Yeah, and I, I really like the strides right here. Not taking too long a gate, just taking your time. Oh, speaking of take, taking your time. Oh, man, here, here, here comes the D51. Uh, Smart, educated decision to move slow right there. He's not trying to hurt himself. He's moving slow. He knows his limits. But at the same time, he's out there and there he's go. moving oh, pretty good. Here he's we moving go. pretty it's good. a race to the line for that. Thank you, I guess, you know, if you could call it that. Here we go. Bringing it down the stretch. What a great shot that is right there. You just get to see both competitors coming around the turn. Careflight take the lead and this, you know, this is what the second to last. The last. Yeah, this, this is, is the last for Careflight. This is about to be it. This is this is all all said and done. Careflight making a good showing out here. And I, I got to tell you, because they have such a big lead right off the right off the jump, yeah. I, I bet they're able to oh. take a little more slower, have something for the later rounds. Yeah, and then you got to love D51 taking the little strut around the last turn. You know, everybody's watching you. You got to show off for the crowd. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's in no rush to matriculate through this course right now, Mikey. He is just really taking a weekend's pace. Just trying to get the crowd hype. You can see it there as the handoff was made. Now we take that last turn. Here they come. Here we go. Finally, uh, you know, I would expect to see just a little bit more excitement as he comes. There oh, it is. There, there it is. is. That's exactly what I was missing. They, they need to be excited. You see Tim Foster jumping in the arms. It's a good day right there. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, care flight of the Rockies win that heat. 107.6 is the final time, but we've seen some faster times today. All right, well, let's take a minute to thank our sponsors of the Men in Heels race. Without their you know, generous support, none of this would have been possible. Our title sponsor is the Alpine Bank. Uh, major sponsors include Ide Bailey, SGM, Monument Waste Services. Mike, and don't forget about Academy Mortgage, FCI Constructors, Advanced Refrigeration, Heating and Air, Whitewater Building Materials, too. Skyline Construction, CRN Community Resource Network, Mesa County Sheriff's Office, and Grand Junction Regional Airport. Yep, you got Carpet Time as one of those sponsors, the Austin Civil Group, Bank of the San Juans, can't forget them, and of course, some of our legal and financial helps, Mike. Yeah, the law firm of Bechtel and Santo and Rose Cap Financial. HRL Compliance Solutions versus Monument Waste. Monument Waste, rocking that Toxic Avengers green right there. They're so important because they help so many people who are victims of domestic violence and, and it's a very sad situation, so we appreciate everything that they do for everyone. We won in 2019 and we're going to win again today because we just don't lose. Let's get to the next one. Heat 6, HRL Compliance Solutions versus Monument Waste. Uh, Monument Waste, what? rocking that Toxic Avenger green. Toxic Avenger green. Well, oh. Where'd we go? Oh, Mike. Mike. Uh -oh. <laughs> we, we were, we're off the course. Juked we the cameraman. You're used to that course. with some of those football moves we see yeah, throughout yeah. the year. Here we go. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, just kind of collect yourself, young Ooh. fella, and get in there. Just throw the, throw the purse off. Not sure that is within regulations, but uh, you know what? Ah, you we'll, know. We'll, we'll let it slide. Yeah, especially uh, with the lead HRL Compliance has right now that they're coasting they are coasting they have nothing but green pastures in front of them and they are just enjoying themselves mike yeah well it's it's, it's one of those things too right you're, you're going for the fastest time so you don't want to slow down too much maybe you, you like having people a little bit closer to you but hey you're still looking for that top time gotta have a top time but you also want to leave something in the tank for those later rounds speaking of top time watch that blue shirt just come right out the gun big lead and he's not giving up he's no. he's he's not happy with just a lead he, he wants to make it to that next round yeah, as HRL comes through, and we're going to sit here and well, enjoy what has kind of been a, a trash race. A little, little bit of a trash race, but it's this is garbage time right here is what they it's call it, Mike. <laughs> garbage time is the last few seconds of this race. Oh, oh a, pose for a million camera. dollar pose come right there. Now. You got to love it. Got to love it as we come through. This race is over. Let's take a look at your, well, I guess, final times. Uh, 57.97 for HRL Compliance That's solutions. our fifth team under one minute. It's going to be tight at the top to see who's really moving on up there, Mike. And Wait. here it is, Heat 7 Alpine Bank, the title sponsors versus 21st Judicial District Attorney's Office. So we're from Alpine Bank and uh, we're going for the theme of we're out of this world this year. So we're going to race this year and uh, yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. We got a really tough team this year. Get these guys behind me. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
We're just super stoked to support the Latimer House and hopefully no one pulls a hamstring. How about Alpine Bank? We're just rocking the, the, the astronauts' outfits. Yeah, they're rocking the astronauts' outfits. The bankers are wearing the astronaut outfits. But I'll tell you what, that guy made an investment in his ankles with that slow turn there just a minute ago, and they're all doing it. Woo. Hey, this is Business decision. Out. This is turning out to be a good heat. As we see uh, two runners come in uh, after the first two, we're kind of in a, in, a, in a great race right here. You love to see these tight heats like that, where it's just every single racer is side by side. Every single step matters, Mike. Yeah, you know, and I can, all, all the, the commotion has been about a space travel William Shatner looks like uh, Alpine Bank has all the right stuff they've got all the right stuff but we're Woo. looking at where these origins are coming from they ain't feeling blue about this one it is good wait what do we anchors. have here oh, Mike oh my goodness that is an alien and that is an alien carrying uh, an, Alpine an Alpine banker bank, uh, an Alpine banker Mike some extraterrestrial assistance there for Alpine Bank to get the victory I don't know if that is allowed I, you know what <laughs> Four man yeah, teams, they had an, a, a fifth person helping them run there, Mike. We need to get a rules official. We haven't seen the official rules on these yet. All right, Heat 8, Mesa County Sheriff's Office taking on Hilltop Community Resources. Uh, a lot of times, uh, victims of domestic violence go through a traumatic experience, um, especially because domestic violence in itself is something that happens within uh, an intimate relationship. And so a lot of times uh, victims of domestic violence may have limited support. And so the Latimer House provides that support to victims of domestic violence to help them get through the situation and help them navigate kind of the complexities that's involved with a domestic violence case. Oh, I feel great. I mean, this is like, this is one of the best programs that Hilltop has. And I'm just, I feel so lucky to be a part of it that we get to actually contribute to it. It's a super important program. <laughs> Boy. Neither team taking this lightly, Mike. A lot of effort going on right here. Hilltop rocking the Go Go Power Rangers. Did you ever think you'd see Power Rangers wearing heels? Come on now. Uh, I did. You know, I had watched a little bit as a kid. Never thought I'd see it growing up. That's for sure. The, the Men in Heels race sure does give us an, an awful lot. And now, uh, giving us you know, uh, just another, another, another uh, Men in Heels. Another that thing we've never seen before. Hey, this is turning in. Ooh, look at the speed on the left, right there. Black Power Rangers. High knees, around. Mike. That's what we talked about before we came on air today. Who's going to remember the high knees when they're running? Sheriff's Office, I tell you what, they're looking pretty good right now. Good turn here for, for uh, Hilltop, though. Especially uh, smart seeing people run with the mask up, because I can tell you that <laughs> cannot be easy no, to see through. There's 0% chance of me uh, not only wearing you know, heels, but a mask as well. Sheriff's Office, uh, that, that's going to be a pretty good time. I, I'm interested to see uh, what the final results are. Let's take a look. Oh, my, as we take a crash. A little bit of a crash there for Hilltop. It is all because of that high effort. Woo! 57.6. If I'm not mistaken, now we're at six or seven teams under the one minute mark. Mike, this is getting exciting. This has been a good one. This has been a good, forget what they said about the rain. This is some really good times. All right, the final uh, prelim heat. How about Student Transportation of America versus SGM? I am running for STA, Student Transportation of America. We need bus drivers desperately. We are really short-handed. We can use as many as we could possibly get. Make sure you donate for the Latimer House and come down and apply for being a bus driver. It's a rewarding career. I am running with the SGM Engine Nerds. Yeah, you like what you see here. Again, like we said, last heat, really keeping close together. Good competition right from the jump, but it looks like blue. Blue shirts there are student bus drivers. Oh, they're moving. They are moving. They are driving the bus. That's, that's oh man, that was a nice little time there on that leg. This is going to get really, really interesting. One again. of the better legs we've seen right there. Yeah, here we I go. I should say two of the better legs we've seen, Mike. That was a good run right there. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good run. Here we go. We're going to slow down just a little. Ooh, nice Ooh. turn right there. Just Stop on a dime. Come around with the spin. A little, little more ginger pace right here, and that's going to allow our SGM to catch up. Mike, we've got a race right now. 
Uh oh, yeah, there it is. Took the lead. Yeah, uh, what is this? The second to last uh, leg here. It looks like it. Yep, we're on the here last. We're on the it's anchor boy. SGM. Just anything's possible. Away. Anything is possible. Oh, nice perfect turn, turn right there. Yeah, and now we just have speed all the way through the finish line. Oh, look at that stop. A little too. Dorothy move with those with those heels also. <laughs> yeah, a little click of the heels for sure, for sure. That'll hey, get you to the finish line. That'll take us to the results. How about it? SGM. They get the win. How about one minute and four? Second. You like what you see there. I'm actually surprised to see that time because I thought they were really, really moving. We are the members of the Rocky Mountain Wing of the Commemorative Air Force. Dedicated volunteers committed to educating, entertaining, and inspiring current and future generations. We restore and operate historic aircraft and tell stories of the heroes that flew and supported them. This is our mission. Educate. Entertain. Inspire. We all have a place we call home. A place to learn new things, to see the beauty around us. A place for community, a place of hope. At the Commons of Hilltop, we believe our assisted living community is more than a place to live. It's a place to call our own. The Commons of Hilltop, welcome home. Welcome back. I'm excited. I'm oh, pretty sure you are as well. Boy. Lots of excitement as all 90 guys have given it their all. It's now down to the fastest teams. Those final times racing for the gold, silver and bronze high heel trophy. Yeah, this should certainly be a great race with less than a second separating the top two teams. It'll be FCI constructors, Coldwell Banker and Farabee Letman Group in the final race. Yeah, that is what we're looking forward to. Let's get right to those highlights, Mike. We took second place last year. We're going for number one team that beat us last year is not in the race, so we're hoping to take first. So two years ago we won, and so we're redeeming that from two years ago. We have the left shoe, it's now time to go get the right shoe. We got a lot of heart out there, and we're going to try. It all comes down to this. The final three, Mikey. It is, uh, oh, wow. look at him take that first turn. Big strides off the bat. Nobody wanted to give up an inch. No, no, sir. What? Oh, a little bit of a miss uh, handoff there, but it does not matter. FCI is staying close, but our friends in blue are pulling away once again, Mike. Yeah, the, the, is it the wigs? Is it the dexterity? Is it the athleticism? The world may never know as they come around still in first place. You just keep seeing them gain ground on the straightaways. Ooh, a little nice bit of a, a uh, miss move on the turns, but it doesn't matter. You get them on the straightaways. They are blueing by you. <laughs> That's right. Hey, how about the, the just wave, wave of the hair? FCI on what? a quick turn. Uh -oh. Unexpected, FCI, Mike. I put the wings out. There's oh, the stop. There it is. FCI with a just complete surprise there around that last turn. And boy. Hit the pyrotechnics for FCI on that oh one. Oh, my goodness. Can we get a replay of this? You need to see the end of that race yeah, again. We've got to see this replay. Here we go, down to the final leg. And you think this is all blue. Look you think Coldwell Banker has it? Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That Ooh. turn, Mikey. That was, it was all in the turn, out of nowhere. Congratulations, FCI. That's well done. I, I'm, I'm speechless. I did not see that coming. We counted out FCI constructors, but what a race. I think you could be forgiven in that. That was awfully uh, something awfully special for sure. All right, let's take a look at those final rankings. We have third place, the Faraby Letman Group. Second place goes to Coldwell Banker and Mike, the Golden High Heel Trophy. Let's yeah. give it away. FCI constructors.
All right, just a reminder, it is not too late to donate to your favorite team and help support uh, Hilltop's Lenmore House. That's right, Mike, and it's really important for people to remember. You can still go to meninheelsrace.org to donate, and that money will all count towards the final team's cash totals as they fight to win the fundraising champion trophy. This one right here, Mike. Oh, boy. You know, forget the golden heel. I want the, I want the heel with the cash money on it. That is, that is a, a thing of beauty right there. This is the one that matters the most, the, the Benjamin uh, heel right there. You got it, for sure. And if, like you said, we've said all day, it, it, this goes to a really good cause. This is the one that it's all about because this is what matters the most as we really go out here to support Hilltop Latimer House. Yeah, you know, the golden heel is great, but I want the one with the cash money on it. You want that one. You want to know that you've been there to do the most for your community, and that's what everyone did today. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. That's it. another one in the books. This another one in the books. Long, Looking forward fun. to year 13, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. All yeah. right. Let, let's, let's get the calendar started. For Mike Kretz, for Logan Wilbur, thank you for watching.